I remember uh, at a show, he was walking around the dressing room and uh, a little kid like pushed him because he was the healer, right? So he pushed him in the ass and he took the little kid and ran his head into the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> so keep your eyes to yourself, little shithead. And just walked off. I'm like, damn, I don't want to mess with that guy. Because <laughs> I hadn't seen him in like four or five years. So the first thing he, he looked at me, he goes, yeah, you'll be dead by the time you're 35. Because I was all jacked up, you know. Were you guys at the time? Or? Um, a little bit, yeah. Right. A little bit. Before he got that fucking position, he was cool as shit. But as soon as he got that job, God damn, talk about a 180. Jesus Christ. Did he have a big ego or was he oh, just... Oh, dude. I mean, I, the Nova, he was all right, but then I could just see, like, fuck. I guess you get a little bit of power, you kind of goes to your head, but uh, he was the reason why. I, guess I couldn't, every day going to work, I was called a French faggot. Every day, I mean, I don't want to go to work and be called a faggot. What if I, I'm not gay, but if I was gay? Right. You know what I mean? Isn't that sexual uh, discrimination? Harassment. Sexual harassment? I was a fucking little, I was a kid, dude. I got the smackdown, I was barely 21. He was depressed as fuck, man. I can remember uh, having a conversation with him. He was like, I hate this company. He's taking all my passion out. <laughs> so we were ended up talking for like a half hour. And about a, the next month, he got his fucking phone bill. It was 185 bucks. <laughs> God damn, stupid motherfucker trying to call you. God damn, we live in Canada. Why don't you get an American phone? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Johnny said, where's your partner? You know, what happened? <laughs> and uh, Slider's like, well, you know, sometimes wrestlers, they take pills, you know? Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> So now everybody thinks I got pilled up and I'm a pill head, you know? You know, I drank a bottle of wine and I never drank it then. So I had a bottle of wine, I was with two general girls in my room and I overslept. Because the referee told us three times, you gotta go to heat, guys. Scotty, go, gotta go to heat, gotta go to heat. So finally I said, hey Scotty, we gotta go to heat. And as he's shooting me off, he tells me to fuck off. <laughs> the following night we worked, uh, we worked on Raw, we did the main event. At 19, I was 19 working in the main event. Oh, it's kind of kind of cool. You'd always give me dirty looks, dude. Uh, but he's um he has an aura about the guy. You know what I mean? I don't know. And Hunter has that same aura to him. So I don't know if it's the protein diet or what it is, but they have this aura. He was always out of his mind. So when he started doing drugs, he just didn't care. But he was always that way. Michael Hayes comes running up to me. He goes, did you lose weight? Did you lose weight? Did you lose weight? You look skinny. I go, no, I just changed to an all fish diet. <laughs> and uh, uh, then I went to Pat. I was like, Pat, listen, man, I don't want to fucking take this shit anymore. You know, you're supposed to kayfabe. You're not supposed to talk about it. Right. Know, obviously, but I, I was, listen, I'm not. Quit playing fucking stupid here, okay? And um, that's when I felt like. Shit, man, do I have to take this shit now? You know? I, I'm a drug addict, I'm not gonna lie. I've been in rehab three times. So, um, but I enjoy taking steroids because it makes you feel good. I'm not gonna lie, it makes you feel good. It makes you stronger, it makes your testosterone more, it makes your skin nicer. It, it just does. It fucking sucked. I had a broken nose. It was my 21st birthday. Bradshaw was on my ass again for whatever reason. It's been a Dick. I got heat for that. I got fuck. I got heat for blowing my nose, man. Hey, I got heat for in these meetings. And okay, Johnny Ace is trying to threaten to fire me every other week. Okay. Renee, I want to fire you. Renee, I can fire you anytime, you know. The first time I ever got fucked up on Somos was with Bob. Let me tell you that story. You know, somebody went and told Vince that I had a pill problem. I wonder who it was. Uh, it could have been Luther, or it could have been Bob. But Bob was known for stooging off guys. Stooge off, well, me, stooge off uh, Heidenreich, and he stooge off Gingerack. What do you do is ask guy for, for gimmicks, take them, and then go tell the office. He goes, Renee, there's not a drug that I've never tried. I've done them all. Sometimes you gotta raise some hell. This punch, boom, lit me up. I fed up. He punched me again. Boom, I fed up. I flew, went to the, st uh, to the floor. That's when he grabbed the chair and from behind, from behind. Hit me in the fucking back, and then he fucking started kicking me in the head. Walked over to Fit, who was the agent. 
I said, change the fucking match. I remember going to Shawn Michaels and saying, you know, you should see my match. He goes, yeah, he took that. He goes, I took a big bump. The jury does his kicks, you know. Right. So we did a spot where he kicked me off the apron. I took a big bump to the floor. He was like, you know, sometimes, you know, you shouldn't bump for certain people. I'm like, okay. I go to pick him up for a slam and he dead weights me. And I'm thinking, is this guy just green or is he being a prick? And then being a wrestler, it's just so fucking easy, especially here in the States. Canada, no way. But in the States, you go to a doctor, say I'm a wrestler, give him a tape. You can get whatever you want. Here's a prescription for Vicodin. Oh, I'll give you some song was too. Oh, really? Okay. I ended up landing Cornigo and... But then I found a drug dealer who sold somas. And uh, I took a bunch of somas before the match. I all somed up. And uh, my balls actually fell out of my tights in that match. And you get out of rehab and the biggest catastrophe in wrestling history happens. And when I was in Japan, I ripped off a fucking 200 pound screen door and not even remember doing it. Okay? Because I get very violent when I drink. Just so, drinking. Taking pills and all that juice. Okay? She threatened to leave him. He flipped out. Fucking did the deed. Woke up, came to. Realized what the fuck was going on. Oh shit, I just killed my wife. He gave his kid a Xanax. There was Xanax found in the little boy system, right? He gave the kid a Xanax so he'd fall asleep. Then choked him out. That's when he hung himself. I went from steroids to pot to pills to alcohol. You know, it's one addiction at a time. I've done them all now. Right. Okay, I'm done. Oh. Oh, fuck. You want to get into those later? <laughs> Tell us some of those stories. God. He was Paul Heyman's boy. And, uh, they were, I mean, they, they were trying forever to get this guy over. Two or three guys from this side come out. CM Punk, CM Punk. Okay, the chance started. Take off their ECW shirts and go to their back. They had plants in the crowd to chant his name. It was Break. He was drunk as fuck. I am Renee Dupree, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I had all my friends around. It was kind of like a mark out moment. Right, right. right. All my friends, hey, look who it is. It's Steve Austin calling. Okay, and Hunter, I don't need a French flag to get heat. Okay, this business can fuck people up, dude. It really can.